Imagine a young boy filled with dreams and aspirations, setting foot on the soil of the land of opportunity, America, a place where dreams take flight, where hope is kindled, and where the spirit of freedom echoes in every corner. This was the America I envisioned as a young boy growing up in a distant land, dreaming of a brighter future. For me, the journey to America was a beacon of hope, a journey painstakingly paved with patience, resilience, and an unwavering belief in the American dream. Picture seven years of endless paperwork, countless interviews, and endless waiting. Yet every step of the way, every hurdle, every delay was worth it because I was driven by a deep love for this country, a country that promised me a chance to live out my dreams, a chance at a better life. Arriving in America, the land of the brave and the free, was like stepping into a new world, a world filled with opportunities. The journey was arduous, yes, but it was also a journey that taught me the value of patience, perseverance, and above all, respect for the law and the sanctity of the process. As a testament to my gratitude, I joined the United, United States Marine Corps right after high school. I was eager to serve, eager to give back to the country that had given me so much. The military taught me discipline, it taught me honor, and it instilled in me an even deeper love for America. That love has not wavered, not even in the face of the challenges we see today. It has, in fact, become a driving force, compelling me to speak out, to bring awareness to the issues I see unfolding before my eyes. That young boy was me, an immigrant who loves America, and it pains me to see what's happening to our great nation. America, a beacon of hope, is now witnessing a disturbing trend of illegal immigration. A land known for its promise of opportunity and freedom is grappling with an influx of individuals who, unfortunately, are bypassing the legal channels to enter the country. The statistics paint a worrying picture. The number of unlawful entries has seen a significant surge in recent years, a trend that's been exacerbated by the policies of the current administration. There's a stark contrast in how the country's own homeless citizens are treated as compared to the illegal immigrants. While the administration emphasizes compassion and humanitarian aid for immigrants, it seems to overlook the thousands of Americans without a roof over their heads. The homeless, many of whom are veterans like me, struggle daily for basic necessities such as food, shelter, and health care. On the other hand, resources are being channeled to accommodate illegal immigrants, some of whom are provided with amenities like nice hotels, credit cards, and medical care. This is not a question of who deserves more, but rather a question of whether it is right to neglect our own people while extending privileges to those who disregard our laws. Moreover, this unchecked immigration has resulted in a rise in crime rates with instances of burglaries, sexual abuses, and even homicides. It's tragic to think that the very people who seek refuge here are contributing to the erosion of safety and order in our society. Now, don't get me wrong. As a legal immigrant myself, I understand the desperation that drives people to seek a better life. America has always been a nation of immigrants, and it should continue to welcome those escaping hardship and oppression. However, it is crucial that this process is carried out legally and ethically. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but the truth is, the current state of affairs is unsustainable. It's not just about preserving the American way of life, it's about ensuring the safety and well-being of all who call this country home. While we must always welcome those in need, we need to ask ourselves at what cost. Uh, our once safe neighborhoods are now becoming hotspots for crime. As if a chilling wind has swept across our nation, an alarming surge in crime is shaking the very foundations of our communities. The numbers, although cold and impersonal, paint a stark and unnerving picture. In recent years, we've seen an escalating wave of illegal activity. The crimes committed are not merely petty thefts or minor offenses. They are serious, they are violent, and they are destructive. The very fabric of our society is being torn apart, thread by thread, by an insidious force that operates outside 
the boundaries of our laws. Let's consider the shocking instances of home invasions. Once considered sanctuaries, our homes are now being violated, our personal spaces trespassed, and our sense of security shattered. The sanctity of our private lives has been invaded, leaving in its wake a trail of fear and uncertainty. Then we turn our attention to the rising cases of sexual abuse. These are not just crimes, they are monstrous acts that strip away the innocence of our young girls, leaving scars that may never fully heal. This is a crisis that cannot be swept under the rug or ignored. It is a stark reality that we must confront head on. Lastly, but by no means least, we must grapple with the horrifying instances of murder. Lives are being snuffed out, families torn apart, dreams extinguished. These are not mere statistics. They are our fellow Americans, our neighbors, our friends. But who are the perpetrators of these heinous acts? The uncomfortable truth is that a significant portion of these crimes are committed by individuals who have entered our country illegally. This is not a statement made lightly or without substantiation. The data is there, and it is deeply troubling. This is not an indictment of all immigrants, nor is it a call to close our borders completely. It is a plea for order, for lawful entry, for responsible immigration policies that respect our nation's laws and the rights of its citizens. Our citizens deserve safety, our children deserve security, and our country deserves these better. O opening. While we open our doors to illegal immigrants, our own citizens are left out in the cold. As we delve into the plight of the homeless in America, it's essential to note that these are not faceless statistics, but real people, mothers, fathers, and children who find themselves without a home. The stark contrast between the aid given to illegal immigrants and the lack of support for the homeless is indeed a matter of concern. According to a report from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, over half a million Americans are homeless on any given night. And yet, the resources that could be used to help these individuals are being diverted elsewhere. While we provide credit cards, hotel accommodations, health care, and food to those who enter the country illegally, our own citizens are left to fend for themselves in the streets. This is not a statement against immigrants, but a call for balance and fairness. After all, should we not first ensure that our own citizens are safe and cared for before we extend our hands to others? Furthermore, it's crucial to understand that homelessness is not a choice, but often a result of complex issues such as job loss, mental health problems, and addiction. These individuals need support and compassion, not judgment. It's also worth noting that homelessness does not discriminate. It could happen to anyone. It could be your neighbor, your friend, or even your family member. And if it were someone you love, wouldn't you want them to receive the help they need? Yet our homeless citizens are often forgotten. They are overlooked and pushed to the margins of society while we focus our attention and resources elsewhere. Closing, we must not forget our own people while extending our hands to others. It's time we remember the forgotten homeless the ones who are often invisible in our society. Let us not lose sight of our duty to our fellow citizens as we navigate the complexities of immigration and national security. After all, charity, they say, begins at home. It's time we take a stand. It's time we voice our concerns and it's time we make a difference. Each one of us has a role to play, a part to fulfill in this grand narrative of our nation. It begins with awareness, with understanding the challenges that we face. But awareness alone is not enough. We need to transform our understanding into action. Voting is one of the most powerful tools we have. It's an opportunity to voice our concerns, to shape the policies and the leadership of our country. When we cast our votes, we're not just selecting names on a ballot, we're making a choice about the direction we want our country to take. But our responsibility doesn't end at the ballot box. We can also make a difference in our communities. There are local organizations tirelessly working to support the homeless, to provide shelter, food, and medical care. 
These organizations rely on our help, whether it's through volunteering our time, donating funds, or spreading the word about their work, we can contribute to their mission. And let's not forget about fair immigration policies. We need to advocate for a system that respects the law, but also acknowledges the human element. This is not about closing our borders. It's about managing them effectively and humanely. We need to voice our support for policies that prioritize safety, but also offer a fair and legal path to those who wish to join our American family. We can write letters, make phone calls, engage in peaceful protests. We can use social media to raise awareness, start conversations, challenge misconceptions. We can educate ourselves and others, spreading knowledge and understanding. Remember, change doesn't happen overnight. It requires patience, persistence, and a whole lot of courage. But if we stand together, if we work together, we can make a real tangible difference. Together, we can protect our beloved country, uphold our values, and ensure a safe, prosperous America for future generations.